Welcome to this educational presentation in honor of Manufacturing Month. My name is Brent Kissling. I'm the Executive Director for the Oklahoma Department of Commerce, and it is my honor to get to welcome you today. I can tell you manufacturing is a very important industry in our state. If you're sitting there wondering what I'm going to do someday, I hope that you'll consider manufacturing. Uh, I'm actually the father of two children. One just graduated from college and one is in college right now. And we have these conversations all the time. What's the future look like? What should I be doing with my life? I hope you're having those thoughts right now as well. And I really hope you think about manufacturing. And manufacturing is different than what most of you uh, probably think of. I mean, it could be something in aerospace and defense. It could be something with chemicals, plastics, rubber, energy equipment, food, fiber, and forestry. We have foundries here in Oklahoma. We have healthcare manufacturing, um, things for the household, things with machinery, things with transportation. Everything that you deal with every day probably in some way relates back to manufacturing and most of that could be developed here in this state. We've got 20 different Oklahoma colleges and universities that offer manufacturing and technician related programs and our career, career tech system is one of the best in the nation at preparing you for a job in, in this particular field. I can tell you it's a place to make money, it's a place to provide for a family someday, and it is a great job to have long term. I hope that you'll consider manufacturing and it's been an honor for me to be a part of your day today. Thanks. Hi, and welcome to the clubhouse. My name is Drew Taylor. I'm one of the co-founders and starters of this great company. Um, what you've done is wandered into one of the coolest companies on the planet. We're the only company in the world that is specifically targeted to building band trailers for high school and college marching bands. We started right here in Edmond. Jeff Hadley and myself were band dads at Edmond Memorial High School. Our kids' band director, Len Ann Feroli, came to us one, say, one day and said, guys, I don't care what you do, but I want a trailer. And being dutiful band dads, we said, yes, ma'am and spent two years figuring out what that meant. Over the course of two years, we toured trailers, talked to directors and booster organizations throughout the country, and we were really shocked that nobody had come up with a better way. So Jeff and I took it upon ourselves to create the better way, and that led to our first trailer, which was Bulldog One. Bulldog One took us nine months to build, and it was Jeff and I and some other band parents and um, hot, hot afternoons and, and it was a labor of love. Never in a million years did we think that here we would be 10 years later building a multi-million dollar company that just builds band trailers. We've created an industry. Um, we say it's probably easier to create an industry than disrupt one. So what you have here is a 22,000 square foot complex that is just for building band trailers. Um, what you'll see during the video today is a tour not of just the clubhouse and not of just our trailers and the products that we create here, but you'll get a chance to see and um, get a sense of the supply chain that makes up clubhouse trailers and the partners that we've used along the way. Everyone, everyone from uh, metal fabricators to water jet providers to anodizers, um, people that give us technology solutions because it's not just simply about the clubhouse, it's about the other things that go into what we do. We've had a great opportunity to work with band organizations throughout the country and we're super proud that we've now delivered our 98th trailer and have marching band trailers in 13 states throughout the US. And that number continues to grow as we start to be on a cadence to deliver about a trailer a week, if not more than that. But we're super excited to host you here today. Can't wait to, to see how you interact with the clubhouse. Can't wait to see how excited you are about manufacturing and quite honestly, the things that are going on in Oklahoma today are kind of unmatched out there. So we hope you find it useful, hope you find something that you may be interested in, and if you feel like the clubhouse might be a cool place to work, please feel free to call us. We'll talk to you at the end of the video.
Hi, this is Rich Silberfeld from Greengate 3D. We proudly recycle scrap plastics into 3D filament in the United States of America. Our primary material is PETG, similar to the plastic often used in soda bottles, but a special polymer is added to give it additional flexibility and maintain structural integrity through the extrusion process. The PETG scrap we use comes from industrial sheets, primarily used in packaging. That packaging scrap is turned into a pellet, which is then extruded into our 3D filament. During that extrusion process, we add pigment to create the desired color, which can be opaque or translucent. We're working on a few new materials, nylon 6.6 and flexible TPU. We're hoping to have those ready in early 21, all from scrap plastics. Greengate 3D also has an excellent design team that can create any 3D printable file. These guys can take a two-dimensional drawing or even a photograph and convert it into a 3D model. They are truly amazing. If you'd like more information, please go to our website, greengate3d.com, where you can see our newest colors, including a glow in the dark, and take a spin through our virtual reality experience. It's pretty cool. Keep the earth green. Here we are in our project room. This is really where we start to create the genesis of each project. We do a lot of our brainstorming here. We do a lot of our ideating on new products here, but it's also where we recognize the projects that we've done. We've kept a timeline here in the project room of all the projects that we've completed all the way through 2018. When the clubhouse started with a single trailer for Edmund Memorial, Jeff and I were band dads, simply producing trailers in our spare time. And then we had an opportunity to go full time. So the first seven years of our company, we did a total of 10 band trailers. And then in 2017, things really exploded and we did 10 just in that year. In 2018, then we did 23 projects and our wall continues to grow. For 2019, we did 45 trailers and haven't had time to put them on the wall yet, number one, because they'll fill the wall and we're too busy building new projects. One of the cool things that also happens in here is our fleet of 3D printers. We keep four Prusa 3D printers running to manufacture components for our trailers, whether it's components for our ramps or our electrical systems or even stair feet. These keep up with our production that goes on in the main shop. It gives us the ability to rapidly prototype something, change things on the fly, or make custom components as needed for a particular project. My name is Troy Williams. I'm the Territory Sales Manager for Fleet Pride. I cover Oklahoma, Missouri, and Arkansas. Fleet Pride has over 275 locations uh, across 46 states. We have 40 plus service locations as well. With 3,200 heavy duty associates, uh, we specialize in heavy duty truck and trailer parts. Uh, the location here in Oklahoma City is probably about 65% uh, walk-in business with the rest of it going to our outside sales team, uh, servicing the customers that do not come into our branch. Uh, we service anybody with uh, heavy duty trucks and trailers to light and medium duty trucks and trailers. We offer full line uh, parts and service here in Oklahoma City. Fleet Pride just celebrated its 20th anniversary. We started in 1999 by two private equity firms when they merged together to create Fleet Pride. And since then we've grown into uh, the locations we are today, 270 plus locations. So as you can see, Fleet Pride provides the clubhouse with a very key component that is integrated into many of the builds that we do, and that is our load bars. These bars lock into the trailer's e-track system, creating the foundational support upon which we build the second floor. For our trailers, maximizing the usage of available space is paramount to our mission. So here at the clubhouse, we are very thankful for our partnership with Fleet Pride and helping us make that happen.
When it comes to aluminum, Eastern Metal Supply provides a total solution for high quality extrusions, sheet, machining, and fabrication services. Since 1982, we have distributed custom and standard aluminum extrusions to every kind of industry, including sign builders, marine fabricators, trailer builders, and fence manufacturers, all of whom depend on our wide range of products and custom fabrication capabilities. Our engineered systems continue to help bring engineers and designers' visions to life in a multitude of industries. Jason Price with Metal Supermarkets, um, franchise owner. I've been here, uh, this location has been here for 20 years. I've owned it for three, and uh, we are the largest uh, small quantity metals dealer in the United States. We've got over 100 locations. Uh, they are franchise owned, and uh, basically we cut to size. So what differentiates us from the competition is if you need one inch or you need a thousand feet, we can take care of you, where in most cases, you know, you have to buy a minimum quantity. Uh, we uh, offer other services as well, so bending, welding, uh, water jet service. Uh, we cut everything, like I said here, uh, on site. And, uh, and then we deal in from uh, steel, uh, tool steel, stainless steel, aluminum, brass, copper, uh, bronze, all shapes and sizes, uh, sheet metal to expanded metal to de decorative metal, and then we can even get things finished as well. So kind of a, an all around uh, service that we can provide. Uh, we deal with retail walk-in customers, um, and we also deal with your business to business like Clubhouse Trailer. The products that the clubhouse deploys into our trailers comes from a variety of sources. Some we find best in class solutions and make those available as part of our solution. For example, the lightweight aluminum ramps are manufactured by Roller Ramp in Fargo, North Dakota. Each 14 foot ramp has the capacity to support a thousand pounds. At the clubhouse, we designed our own unique stands to make deploying these ramps easy. Our stair systems are built on site after consolidating work from a variety of vendors. It's our own custom extrusion. The work done on the water jet, the welding done by our fabricator, and then the anodizing done to give each stair tread a finished look. Our powered stair system is then built and installed into each clubhouse trailer. Each innovation comes from the minds of our team at the clubhouse. Here we see our co-founder and VP of innovation, Jeff Hadley, Hard at work designing our newest stair product in CAD. All the components of the final design are then sent out to the appropriate specialties. The vision then takes shape in a custom trailer. Our goal is to maximize the use of space in a typical moving van, which with features that every marching program needs. Our guard drawers are built on site and installed by our team to integrate into each trailer using heavy duty full extension drawer slides. The Tubevator has transitioned into an electric actuator from Thompson, giving us the ability to move loaded sousaphone cases from the ground up into the second floor of any clubhouse trailer.
Hi, uh, my name is Gene Capel. I own and operate Envision Rapid Cutting here in Norman, Oklahoma. Uh, I do a water jet cutting service for most any and all products uh, that can be cut. Uh, I've been doing this uh, 12 years now. For clubhouse trailers, I cut aluminum uh, anywhere from eighth of an inch to uh, half inch thick uh, make parts uh, by the pound, I guess. <laughs> One, ten, or a thousand, uh, you know, you tell me what you need and that's what I do. The, uh, the water pressure on this is runs about 60,000 PSI. Uh, comes out of the nozzle close to 2200 miles an hour, which is three times the speed of sound. Uh, the Newton's laws of physics really apply, and I, I get a kick out of those now. Fun to see things come to life. Mm -hmm. You know, I've got a couple of drafts in here that it, it looks one way on paper, you don't know. Mm -hmm. Then all of a sudden you go, I get it. Yeah. <laughs> you know, going, and I go, I did that, I did that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm not the artist, but I, I think I contributed something. Uh, my name is Chris Wilkins. I'm one of the co-owners of KCR Welding. We're a uh, fabrication welding engineering shop in Oklahoma City. Um, primarily um, aluminum fabrication and welding of all types. Um, we really excel at uh, fabricating and welding aluminum. Um, that's kind of our niche. Um, we also dabble in custom equipment manufacturing. Um, some of the primary industries we serve are oil and gas uh, product development, um, ergonomic ladder manufacturing, and uh, we do quite a bit of research and development work with the University of Oklahoma. So uh, in its current form, we've been around since 2005, which is as a corporation, but uh, the inception of KCR was in our garage back in the 80s. Um, my dad always had a side welding business, even when he was uh, running other welding facilities or doing other business ventures. So it kind of, uh, the genesis of KCR was our garage, garage at our childhood home, and uh, it's grown into a you know, pretty substantial business. Good morning, I'm Keith Carraway. I'm owner-operator of Metal Finishing of Chickasha. This is a company that, that uh, it was a father and son company that was started in 1974. This particular industry, we do conversion coatings. The type of coatings we're doing here, we, we have four coatings that we do. It's black oxide for carbon steel. We also do passivation for stainless steel. We do chem film or aluminum dichromate for aluminum. And uh, we do anodizing type 3 and type 2 anodized, which is a mill anodized and a hard coat anodized. A lot of our customers are uh, mach machine shops that fabricate out of aluminum or components, you know, steel components. We do a lot of automotive parts, medical parts, aircraft parts. You know, it covers all sectors of, of manufacturing. About two years ago, we were contacted by Clubhouse to uh, do their components for their marching band. And uh, a lot of their components that they do are, are very, uh, their parts aren't really production parts as, you know, we'll get 500,000 of this same component. We might get two or three of a, of a different component, a mounting fixture for these sand trailers. As Clubhouse came to us, they were doing a lot of prototype parts, and so we would only get two or three of each component, and then, so we had to build custom racks to uh, do their parts. And uh, as we've grown with them the last couple of years, their, their amounts of uh, components have increased quite a bit and they're a very good company to do work for.
Our features, combined with our innovative design, enable all our customers to achieve safe and efficient loading and unloading of all the equipment, instruments, uniforms, and performers that make up a modern marching program. Every component is designed for durability, ease of use, and flexibility over time as our customers' programs evolve. I'm Derek Stevens, owner of Metal Tech Incorporated here in Oklahoma City. Uh, we've been here since September 22nd of 2000 and have done anything from fracking parts to attic lifts to you name it. I mean, we've done it. Currently, we work for Clubhouse Trailers for uh, buyer's products, building attic lift parts, and we have our own line of furniture running under Rusticana Furniture name. and. Uh, We've built and we're gaining ground with this stuff. But we do anything from design work, solid works, uh, engraving, plasma cutting, press brake operating, you know, or press brake part bending, and then uh, hardware, like all of a sudden, but uh, mainly hardware on our parts, and then uh, turret punching, you name it, and weld aluminum, weld steel, weld stainless. Bit of everything. My kids were all marching band, 18 years of marching band and building front ensembles and towers and garment racks and trailer parts and you name it for a band we've done it and we've moved it or seen it so that's, that's kind of where we felt we, we kind of fit perfect with you know Jeff and Drew. Hi, my name is Clay McKennell. I represent the Fastenal Company. We're an inventory management service. We provide solutions such as industrial vending to bin stocks. Our mission with Clubhouse Trailer is to provide what they need, when they need it, so that they can continue to do what they do, which is create high quality trailers for bands of all sizes. We do this by working with the company to establish what they're going to need on a regular basis, their minimums and their maximums for those items, and then we monitor those inventories to make sure that it stays in that range. This saves time from little things such as approving quotes to big things such as production halts. We're very proud to be integrated with Clubhouse Trailers. We're very thankful for our partnership with Drew and Jeff. My husband and I started Central Oklahoma Hose in 2012. Um, I started in this industry back in 1984 um, and had worked for a couple of really good companies and then he retired from the post office and we decided to start this. Um, my entire team is all female, it just kind of worked out that way. Um, my husband is around, he usually hides in the back office. But what he, his part of this is what he has done has made this whole thing very user-friendly for the girls. He's designed and built um, equipment and stuff so that the physical part of it is, is very, very easy on them. And that's, that's kind of what he's done. So um, again, this is, it, it's been something I, I've done for many, many years. Um, but it's, I started with my dad when he was in the industry and I was a senior in high school. He got out and I stayed in, so that's us. What we do is, uh, custom hose assemblies and nothing is a prefab kind of thing. Our industries are road building construction, OEM manufacturers, municipalities, city ofs, anyone that's doing um, 
like road construction, not necessarily house construction. We we do hydraulic hoses and stuff for the very large dirt movers and all that kind of stuff. That's that's what we do. What happens is a customer will bring in a hose off of a piece of equipment. The maintenance techs, that's who our customers are. They'll bring in a hose, wait while it while we make it and get back on the road. The clubhouse creates many innovative products to solve the problems faced by modern high school and college marching programs. One innovation has led to the design of our flying carpet. This custom four post stinger lift is fabricated by Axe Manufacturing in Council Grove, Kansas and installed by the talented team at the clubhouse. The entire floor, 26 feet, raises and lowers from a loading position to a transport position, leaving six feet of clear space beneath the floor for high equipment density. The flying carpet requires our staff to understand carpentry, fabrication and assembly, hydraulics, light machining and electrical. The floor itself weighs 1500 pounds and is quite the experience to install inside a Kentucky trailer. But the final product makes for a unique solution to a common equipment problem. Neff Power is a robotics and industrial automation distributor headquartered in Missouri. We support engineers in Kansas, Illinois, Arizona, New Mexico, Texas, Oklahoma, Arkansas, and Missouri. Neff Power provides industrial solutions in electrical control, safety, motion control, robotics, aluminum framing design and assembly, as well as pneumatics and hydraulics. Our team of design engineers and application engineers support Neff Power customers to design, source, and assemble fixtures made with 8020 aluminum framing solutions. Our 8020 design team focuses on your requirements and your needs to create a modular solution that arrives in kit form for your team to assemble, or arrives fully assembled so you can roll out your solution right away. Neff Power provides robotics training and support for industrial and collaborative robots specific to your applications. Our robotics specialists can provide on-site instruction at your facility, as well as remote robotic simulations that include all of your parameters to help you utilize your robot to its fullest potential and maximize ROI. As an ISO 9001-2015 certified company, our design and assembly processes are of the highest quality. As a distributor, Neff Power is partnered with leading brands in robotics and industrial automation. To learn more about how Neff Power can support your team in aluminum framing design, robotics, and industrial automation, go to neffpower.com. My name is Lisa Mullen, CEO of Drove Technologies. Drove is an Oklahoma-based technology company. Our roots began with a mechanical tire inflation product that is still offered today. This standard inflation product, when installed on trailers, inflates the tires as needed as the vehicle goes down the road. Four years ago, we pivoted into a technology company. We took our core componentry around tire management and added an IoT platform, collectively known as Airbox One. Airbox One enables the first truly smart trailer. Through multiple sensor inputs and cameras, fleets are now able to better understand the health status of their trailer and manage that trailer to get the maximum return on a trailer that's built. In addition, we're able to prevent potentially catastrophic events based on sensor capabilities and data collected on the trailer. We are building the first self-diagnosing trailer.
Clubhouse trailers become rolling billboards for the communities we serve. Whether it's a large high school, a smaller band program, or a university, we craft high impact visual solutions to match the brand identity for each community. Each project has a unique look and feel and the graphics play a tremendous role in the overall project. Each design begins with a consultation between the clubhouse graphic artist and the band director or representative from the administration. The concepts are then translated into a design using state-of-the-art media tools. Each trailer is accurately measured to build the final design. The full color digitally printed vinyl wrap is manufactured and is then ready to install. Once wrapped, every trailer is ready to head to its destination for an exciting delivery event. Our newest product, our small trailer solution, here being pulled by one of the clubhouse's baddest partners, Sport Chassis of Clinton, Oklahoma. This RHA 350 Onyx Edition is paired with a brand new cargo craft trailer for our friends at Tishmingo High School. We took a custom blacked out trailer with a one of a kind wrap and made this smaller footprint trailer just as functional as a full size clubhouse semi. Our team did the electrical, carpentry, custom machining, and fabrication on this community showpiece. Here we're showing off this trailer in the second new building of the clubhouse complex, where we fabricate almost all the structures which go into our builds, along with some additional build bays, giving us even more capacity than just six months ago. We now occupy almost 22,000 square feet after spending eight years in a shop of just 3,200 square feet. This exciting new product expands the clubhouse line and means that our target audience is now every high school music program in the country. We're really glad that you stopped by the clubhouse today to take a look at not just what we do here and the manufacturing that we get to create every day, but got a chance to see some of our partners as well. We really want to thank the Oklahoma Manufacturing Alliance and the Francis Tuttle Technology Center for helping us put together today's virtual tour of the clubhouse. If the clubhouse or any of the other partners that we work with look interesting to you, please feel free to reach out to us. You can use the button on our webpage, clubhousetrailers.com, look for the Manufacturing Month page and click the button. We'd love to hear from you. Thanks for joining us.